cancer relationship typically love but it doesn't have to be again whomever you have on your mind if you all need a private reading my info is below you can go right to my website and book your reading i am using the tarot of dreams for your main spread and to clarify i'm going to use the legacy of the divine tarot both are by chiro marchetti beautiful illustrations and that's also below for those who care sometimes i say bad words on my channel if it offends you hard left there are a lot of good readers on youtube Ooh, we have the seven of coins and the queen of coins some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign all right what do we see for cancer please this is the third through the ninth of October 2019 what the hell is up for cancer after I lay out your cards I will adjust that camera so you get a nice little view all right you and your person what happened in the past well the big fat five of coins ooh chilly loss right feeling left out in the cold all right what's going on currently we have the eight of swords cancer what is up all right Libra Gemini Aquarius energy with on this person's mind, the two of coins, two, all about partnerships, decisions, trying to make a decision, maybe juggling. How do they view you, Cancer, this person? Judgment, major arcana. How do they feel in their emotions right now? Well, we got the nine of swords. They're all up in their head. That shit crazy right now, all right? Thinking about it like crazy. How do they see you two moving forward, or how, they, how do they want to move forward? The ace of wands in reverse. All right, what's going on behind the scenes? The hidden factors is the Knight of Cups in reverse, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. What's your advice, Cancer, from the Terra? It's the Ace of Swords, Aquarian energy for me. And what's the outcome for you guys? What do we have? We have the Nine of Cups. A lot of water. Makes sense because you're a water sign, aren't you? All right, what's going on? Overall energy, the bottom of the deck. What do we have? We have the eight of coins in reverse. Somebody's being lazy within this connection, all right? Not putting in the time and effort that somebody wants. Excuse me while I vape. All right, let's move you down and see what your cards look like. Get a nice little look. All right, so, okay, so the overall energy right now, you could work with this person or you're dealing somebody in the situation because remember the energy can go vice versa, Cancer. Somebody in the situation is just not putting in the time in. They're, they're lazy. They're done putting in effort, something like that. All right, let's start clarifying. The past, we see the five of coin. So five challenges, strife, right? It's loss. It's feeling like somebody's shutting you out. Maybe they're not returning text messages in a timely fashion, right? Maybe they are not responding the way you want. This could be you to them, but we have a feeling of being shut out or left out in the cold. Somebody's just icy. All right, let's clarify. What do we see for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? This is the 3rd through the 9th of October, 2019. What is the main message for Cancer and their person? The person that Cancer is thinking about. One more shuffle. So I always pre-shuffle, but I like to do a few more during the reading. All right, let's cut it, do it, and chat about it and see what is going on. What's the main message for you guys for the next week or so? Time's fluid, but... All right, this overall energy or theme for you and this person, eight of coins in reverse. Why is this here for Cancer and their person? What is it? It's the freaking world, Cancer. Major Arcana. Maybe you're dealing with a fixed sign, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, an ending, right? I think somebody's decided to end something here because they just were too, the, too lazy when it came to the connection. Someone's not putting in the effort that they need to with the world. And as a four of wands, stability, security, happiness, could be a marriage, could be a relationship, obviously, like a committed relationship here that's going on. Uh, one more card on this four of wands for the overall energy. You may have ended something, Cancer, just to regain your own stability and harmony, right? Because that's what the Four of Wands is. It's a celebration within the home, but stability. Yeah, see the lovers in reverse. Gemini energy. You or the other person may have had to end things here because there's just laziness and a lack of stability, possibly. The lovers in reverse could be a soulmate contract that's just up. Somebody also may have been indecisive about, like, opening the doors, manifesting a new phase within this relationship. 
Somebody's just had it. Somebody's tired of being given the cold shoulder. Why is this five of coins in the past? The Cancer. What is it? The Ace of Wands. A new beginning, right? It could have just been sex only type relationship with the Ace of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands? Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. What's this Ace of Wands? Yeah, Leo. A lot of Leo. Strength card could be dealing with a Leo. Somebody was holding back on a new beginning. Okay, this is probably somebody that you were already dealing with. Maybe they were already in and out of your life. Not able to manifest the next phase of the relationship. Somebody just decided that that's not the direction they wanted to go. So there's this iciness, holding back, a lack of a new beginning. Because right now, between you guys, we have this energy of this eight of swords. Hmm. Somebody feels trapped, negative thoughts, just kind of thinking about this over and over. What's this eight of swords here? What is it? Gemini energy. Yeah, the nine of coins. Somebody's just decided to be single and independent. They're tired of feeling trapped to this, more so in the thoughts. You don't want to reach out? You want to give me the cold shoulder? We can't get this thing off the ground? All right. I'm going to hold back. I know my worth. I'm tired of feeling trapped to it, right? And so somebody's just decided to remain single. The nine of pentacles, Virgo energy for me but this is like knowing your worth and your value i feel like in a situation here somebody's just decided to kind of do their own thing because they know they're worth more than this lack of effort now on this person's mind is the two of coins why is this here indecision what is it the six of wands more leo energy leo and jupiter energy this person might just be playing the field cancer i'm just saying on their mind they want to date they're indecisive about settling down a lot of ego, right? An attention seeker. They like the attention. They like the recognition. You know, they may just want to date and not be tied down. King of coins. <sighs> Taurus energy for me. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, right? Is this person already in a relationship for some of you? Yes, but I think this is more talking about the juggling act, going back and forth. Why is this king of coins here? The ace of cups. There's love here. There is love and emotion, but somebody can't make a decision about settling down. And for somebody in this scenario, this is just not enough. It's not enough. Somebody knows their own worth and value here, but there is emotion. How do they view you, Cancer? The judgment card? Making a, You've made a big decision here. Another marriage card for me. Wanting a second chance. The wheel of fortune. I think they see you, Cancer, as more, not necessarily giving them a second shot here, but they see you as making big decisions, kind of probably reflecting on the past, healing the past, rising from the ashes, and moving forward in a big-ass way with the Wheel of Fortune, right? You want big changes, and you're just not willing to settle for anything less. So because of this, they have the Nine of Swords in their emotions. Why is this here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? More uh, Gemini energy. What is this? The star could be dealing with an Aquarius. There's a part of them is still remaining hopeful here with the star. They want to heal a situation here. What just fell out of the deck? Yeah, see the Ace of Coins, a new beginning, something substantial, material, something, you know, that they can grow on here. And they're all up in their head because of this. Now, so whatever you've done, because they see you as judgment, judgment again is like making final decision, making a judgment call. I get the sense this person just juggled too long what they wanted to do, right? And now they're freaking out because you've, you've made a call here. How do they see you guys moving forward? Ace of Wands in reverse. Why is this here? The Three of Wands. See, they're waiting. They feel like you've lost the passion or somebody's lost the passion here. There can't be this new beginning right now, right? Or it could have just been sex only. I'm not really getting that as much now with the clarifiers. Three of Wands also can be somebody's turning their back. I mean, if you look at the card, their back's turned and they're walking away, right? You've closed the door. Maybe they closed the door. Why is this like um, setting your sights on something new, something different here? Because somebody's just lost the passion, not taking action. The fool, sign of Aries. See, this person feels like they have no other choice but to go towards some sort of new beginning. And I think it's because you lay down the law. The hanged man, sign of Pisces, another major arcana. 
because things are just stagnant with you guys, right? Stuck, maybe at a stalemate right now. What's going on behind the scenes? The Knight of Cups in reverse. There could have been some jealousy. More Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What's going on behind the scenes is somebody's a player or they've had player-like tendencies, very in and out, right? With that Knight of Cups. And there's, somebody's just not offering the emotion anymore or the love. Yeah, the Five of Swords. Very, very... Um, Kind of all about me energy is what's going on behind the scenes. Taking back their power, the five of swords, another five. So challenges, but the five of swords here is me, 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 me. And I don't really care if it hurts you or not. I'm not offering that love. Yeah, again, very self-serving energy. Nine of cups, five of swords. You know, I'm just not offering the love. Very kind of player-like energy. Wasn't giving you what you wanted. But here they are and their emotions all trapped to the situation wanting a new beginning. What the hell? Right? So something was keeping this person blocked. But their energy is not great. Five of swords, nine of swords. This is doing what's best for them. What's this nine of cups about? The knight of wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. Typically Sagittarius. Very flighty. We've got two knights here. One's in reverse. So they're just not offering any emotion. And the Knight of Wands, again, I kept saying player, and I don't, I shouldn't say player, but bottom line, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. This person was not giving you a stable relationship, and I think this is you, Cancer, deciding, you know what, I know my worth. I'm tired of feeling trapped to this shit, right? You're not going to give me what I want. And they see moving forward, too, that somebody's lost the passion, right? They're on to a new beginning here. The hanged man, I feel like for a lot of you, this is them wanting a new beginning with you because in their emotions, it's here. Like, they're all fucking trapped in their thoughts. They're up late at night, knitting blankets, and watching infomercials. But I'm getting the energy of, well, they brought this on. What the hell? Now, your advice is the ace of swords. Because, see, in the hidden factors, they're still shown as a knight, very in and out. Probably will rush in again at some point, but it's as a knight. It's not very dependable. Ace of Swords is your advice, Cancer. Clarity. You need a breakthrough here. You got to see the truth. What's this Ace of Swords? Or to cut it out. Yeah, to cut it out. Four of Cups. There's your energy. Four of Cups is that energy of kind of melancholy, complacency, boredom. You're not really getting what you want. You already know that, though. I think for the majority of you, you already know that. Your advice from the tarot, the, the fairies, the universe, whomever, is to cut this out. I mean, because look, this person's dreaming of the cup that they actually want. And apparently this person can't give that to you, right? So the outcome shows the nine of cups. What's this about? Nine of cups? Why is this nine of cups here? The seven of swords. See, you're dealing with somebody who is me, 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 me. Me. I mean, look at him. He looks fucking crazy. Look at all the shit around him. He's worried about the biggest grape, the most alcohol, the thickest milkshake, and the prettiest, most handsome thing out there, right? And with the Seven of Swords, you know, look at this guy. He's breaking into a house. He probably knows the expiration date on the milk before anybody else as well. I mean, can you trust this guy? Mm, not so much. Sorry, Chris Watchers. Y'all can thumbs down all you want. I'm just calling the energy like I see it. This is Cancer's reading. Right? So you're dealing with somebody who is trying to get away with something or has tried to get away with something. And it's avoidance. It's deception. It's me, 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 me. And again, I think for the most part, Cancer, you guys already know this. And that's why you're like, you know what? I'm the damn nine of coins. Who are you fucking with? Right? Why is the seven of swords here in the outcome? What is it? There you are. Queen of cups. Knowing your worth. Listening to your intuition. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is you. You're in the upright. And this Queen of Cups in this deck, I mean, she's psychic. He or she, the energy is very psychic, very intuitive. She knows what's up. She knows that she's been dealing here. She's been dealing with some deceptive, not so truthful, kind of shady energy. And she's had enough. All right. <laughs>